Well, showers encompassed Ohio on um, Sunday. Will it be the same for Monday and Tuesday? Let's take a look at your surface map, 7 a.m. across the eastern United States. Low pressure over southern Illinois. You can see a little batch of shower and thunderstorm activity. That's going to make its way to the northeast across southern Indiana into western Ohio and west central Ohio. Could make it as far east as Columbus, but right now the uh, animated radar as of six hours doesn't look like it's going to make it that far to the east. That could change, of course. And, of course, by the time you see this, it'll be history. So... We'll see what happened. Anyway, future view map looks like this. We're going to have a, an area of precipitation across the Buckeye State with a low pressure trough moving its way through Ohio. That's going to be in the warm sector. But you see toward the end of this animated loop, you can see what appears to be a cold front swinging its way to the southeast. That'll make its way through the old state of Ohio on Wednesday. And as it does so, it'll usher in more seasonal temperatures into the state of Ohio for that time frame. Take a look at your traveler's forecast for the Buckeye State Tuesday. It looks like this. Well, variable conditions across Ohio. It could be some scattered shower activity under most of the cloudy skies in the far northern tier of the state to partly to most of the sunny skies in the far south along South Point, Ironton, Chesapeake. And uh, it looks pretty decent down there. Daytime highs in the 60s in the north to the low to mid 70s in the south. So Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday in Ohio looks pretty decent. And you'll see that in your local five-day forecast. So as you can see, the temperatures are going to drop back to near normal levels. It's not that bad for Mars. This is this is a transitional month and anything is possible across the state of Ohio as well as the month of March. Enjoy the warmth while it lasts.